Hello everyone, welcome to the almost complete PAL PSP collection video. I finished this collection in December, and by finished I mean I still need one game, Almanage Original of course. Uh, it's kind of unobtainable for a price that is anywhere close to reasonable, so I'm good with uh, the 620 out of <laughs> 621. That's uh, completely fine with me. Very happy to get this done. Took over four years of uh, focused collecting. Um, yeah, let's go through this collection. It's all alphabetized, of course. This one is double uh, seven. That's why that one's here. Uh, I'll point out interesting games as we go along. Quite a few imports that I had to get, games that did not come out in Germany, like uh, where is it? this one? It's like a uh, driver's license test thing from Spain. Here's one of the seven Indian exclusive games. This, this one and Dawn 2 were the last two games that I needed. Um, yeah, as I said, tons of games to import. Lots of games I never heard about before I started collecting. A lot more imports compared to the size of the library than PS3. It's a very tricky system to collect for, honestly. Uh, it's deceptively difficult. You come across a lot of these games, but usually you see the same 100, 200 games everywhere and then there's a bunch of games you just don't ever see, like this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't necessarily make it expensive, it just makes it incredibly annoying and you can't find certain games you're looking for. Here's another a kind of tricky one to find. But yeah, it's a really cool system to collect for. Lots of really great games. Other Final Fantasy remakes. I got those years ago before I even started going for the PSP set, luckily. Like a lot of the RPGs I got when GameStop and other stores were basically phasing those out. Uh, this one I did not get from GameStop though, this one... Uh, uh, I got this for Christmas, also before I started going for the set, when it was still like reasonable. Now this is... Uh, after Albinage, of course, this is probably the rarest game to get. It's really, really hard to find. Only came out in France. Uh, here's another hard one to find, Gladiator Begins. You usually find this one in the Essentials version, and not the Black Label one. Harvest Moon, this is another one that I got before I started going for the set, luckily. And here's Kills on Liberation, probably my favorite game on the system. It is really, really fantastic. It's another French exclusive. Lots of Lego games, just like on PS3. Here's another that took me a while to find. This was this was one of the last like 20 games I needed in Madden Online. It's just Sometimes some games you wouldn't expect would be hard to find actually are. <laughs> this is another one of the hardest to find ones. My worst case puzzle. That's another IRAM release. Really tricky to get. Only came out in France again. 
That's the Mega Man games. Part up, this one took me a while to find. This one is pretty expensive now. Uh, the Mega Minis uh, Essentials. These only came out as Essentials. Doesn't look that great, but you know, they belong in the set, so what can you do? Sports games, NASCAR. This one didn't come out here. I had to import this from the UK. Pretty sure that's the only place this game was released. And it's not cheap either. You wouldn't expect it from like NASCAR, EA NASCAR, but um, NHL 07. Again, something about the EA games on PSP. <laughs> or the Passport games. Patapon, another one of my favorites. It's a bunch of Spanish exclusives. Uh, this one's kind of stuck here. Okay. Pretty. This was another one of the final few games I needed. Uh, so was this one, Pro Cycling 2007. <laughs> Got really lucky on that one. And the uh, final row down here. Okay. Now the last little bit up here. Uh, this Tales of Turnia I got at a flea market. That was a really nice find. There's another like, kind of weird game, Tally Addicts, <laughs> from the UK. Uh, Tiger Woods games. Um, this one took me a while to find. This one is... <laughs> it sounds so silly, but... You know, some games, they just, they just elude you. TNA Impact, that's another import. Uh, Valhalla Knights 2. The Warriors. Uh, this Wild Arms XF, this is the UK version. This is another one I got a long time ago, luckily. Uh, this Stealth Wipeout Pure combo pack. This one's here because um, I go off the Retro Collect list, and it is listed there because this version of Wipeout Pure has like extra tracks, or one extra track. And so they're considered a different game. Um, you can you can argue one way or another. It doesn't really doesn't really matter to me. And it's really cheap as well, so I just got it. Uh, here's another one that's uh, deceptively difficult to find. World Championship Poker One. Um, I got really lucky and got this on Amazon of all places. Couldn't. Literally could not find this anywhere else. So. More poker games, snooker games. WRC. This was another one that I just couldn't find for the longest time. And then the end here. None of these Yu-Gi-Oh games have the cards that came with these games, um, naturally. <laughs> um, the cards for these games are infinitely more difficult to find than the games themselves. And here are all the big boxes. Here's some pre-production copies of Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow and God of War, Chains of Olympus. Uh, the dates on these are a couple months before release. I haven't checked yet if they are any different from the retail releases. Then we have Dissidia, Dissidia 012, 
third birthday. It's a really cool little set. There's Kingdom Hearts, a lot of Arcana. Um, Persona 3, this one's sealed. Tactics, uh, Tactics Ogre. This is probably my best GameStop find from when they were getting rid of all the PSP stuff. This was really cheap. This one was $7.99. Could not believe my luck. Even back then that was really, really cheap. Um, this one was not cheap though. This was one of the final big box ones that I needed. And so was this one, Persona 2. And here's Fat Extra. This one's a little bit bigger. It's kind of a weird size. It's like wider and taller. Okay, so... Oh, another like little thing. There's the PSP Go Explore. I actually brought that, bought that brand new and I, I did use it <laughs> when I moved to Berlin. That was like over 10 years ago. Um, yeah, that is the pretty much complete PAL PSP set. Next up, um, <laughs> next big project is NES. Uh, it's probably never gonna be fully complete, but you know, you never know. These ones are gonna get boxed up and then the NES games and some other collections go up here. And yeah, I'll let you know whenever I have another set to share.